I made brownies before to take into class tomorrow to like share with everyone and I just took them out of the oven and I can kind of still smell them and they're all I can think about and I just want to eat the whole thing but I can't because I'm a good person who makes brownies for her class. Hello humans! I just want to start off by asking um, to anyone watching this video, how are you? How is your day going? How was your week? I hope that it was really good for you. I hope that you had a great time and you made something of it. Because ultimately, even though I don't know you, I care about you. And that's really the gist of this whole video and what I guess I'm going to try and say today is that even if you have no one else in the world that cares about you, I care about you. So, let's just... Cool. Glad we said that. Recently, I have been tossing up a lot over the thought of why do I make videos? Just last week, I was pretty much set on being done with this channel and not making any more videos and just giving it a rest. Next Tuesday is my two year anniversary of making videos on this channel and I guess I just felt that I had made every video that I had to make in this space. That I had said everything that I thought was worth being said. I didn't upload a video last week because I just didn't feel like I had anything to say or to add that was genuinely like productive to this conversation. Like I filmed a video and it was my what I've been reading February 2016 video of whatever. And I got to the end of filming it and I was like, cool, well, filmed a video, can tick that off my list. I literally only made that video so I could tick it off my list. I didn't make that video because I thought it was a really cool thing to talk about or because I was excited to share it with people or because I felt it was an urgent issue that I needed to address. And that's what scares me <laughs> because I never want to be a content creator who just creates content for the sake of creating content. I never want to be the kind of person who says something just for the sake of being in the conversation. If I'm going to make content, if I'm going to be present online and if I'm going to put all this effort in to make my voice heard, I want to make sure it's a good voice and that my voice is saying something productive and helpful and not just, oh, this is a video that I made so that I can say that I make videos. There's no point to that. And so yeah, I was tossing up. I was like, well, why do I make videos? Why do I even bother? Because not that many people watch them and I don't sit down in front of a camera and go, oh my goodness, yes, I get to film a video today. And then later on, I'm just scrolling through Netflix as you do. And I see that the new Tyler Oakley documentary has been uploaded and I got really excited and I took a picture and sent it to my friend and I was like, today is the day. Today is the day. Today is the day. And I was just so excited. And I watched it and I really enjoyed it. It was a great documentary. And something that really stuck with me was just how Tyler spoke about the community that is YouTube and that is the people who watch his videos and the people that he makes videos with and the people that he makes videos for. And how sometimes we're at points in our lives where we can't find community outside of our own four walls of our bedroom or our house and so we have to look inside and the perfect way to do that is through the internet. And he was saying how if even one person is impacted by a video that he makes, then it makes it all worth it. It makes all the stress and grossness and struggle for validation that comes from being a person that makes videos on the internet worth it. And when I started this channel, I didn't have a lot of friends. I spent most of my lunch times in the library by myself reading books. And I guess this channel was my cry for, hey, someone come and hang out with me. You know, please will someone come and just understand me where I'm at kind of thing. And I don't know if people that watch these videos feel that way. I don't know if anyone that follows my channel goes, I come to watch these videos because I feel like Bella gets me or because I feel like I can relate to Bella. I don't know if those people exist, but I have this feeling that there might be and that one day there might be. And yeah, if even one of my videos impacts someone or makes them feel like someone in the world that out there gets them, <laughs> then it's worth it. So I guess to sum it all up, I make content, I make videos. So people out there feel maybe just even a little bit less alone because I've been there still in there and it sucks. And so I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm not going to stop making videos because I believe that someone someday is going to see one of my videos and is going to go, hey, that Bella chick gets me and now I feel a little bit less alone in the world. And ultimately that's all anyone really wants. <laughs> so that's all I really have to say. I'm making this video not only for you guys to get where I'm coming from, but also I think for myself to be able to come back to and be like, yes, this is why I make content. I am making content so that I can reach someone that needs to be reached. That's, that's it. That's that, that is the end game. And so guys, with all honesty, I hope you are all having a wonderful day. If it's not, I hope it gets like, literally a billion times better because I love you all and goodbye. I'm so happy I didn't start crying. 
I was honestly sitting here and I could like feel it behind my eyes and you know when you're about to cry and you're like, I can sense this coming. Oh wow. Um, I really hope this didn't come across as like arrogant or ooh, my videos are going to change someone's life because that's not what I intended but I don't know now. I guess we'll find out when I edit it. Cool. Great. Gonna go water some plants.